Hey guys, so we're going to create a more festive sort of unity scene today and this is um, going to help show you how to make um, your terrain look more snowy. It's going to be creating a snow particle effect. We're going to change the water plane so it looks more like ice and we're going to simulate sort of skating across ice and I'm also going to show you some assets that you can download for free that I've modelled, you know, especially for Christmas. So you know this is going to be a sort of side tutorial that you can learn some bits look at some assets learn how to create some stuff related to wintery scenes or Christmassy scenes so you know watch it by all means take a look and see if you can learn something from it so first of all what I did is I downloaded a package from the unity asset store the ATS um, snow package it's a free package that you can download which lets you add sort of snow shader to your terrain now it's a really good package cause I've got terrain all around here and you know it doesn't look very snowy at the minute I've changed the skybox so it looks more of a sort of dull area now what we're gonna do is we'll click on the terrain um, that you've got so you can create a terrain or whatever you want then what we'll do is inside the package which you can download from the asset store is add the custom terrain script shader so if we add that to here you'll notice that we need to add a snow texture so what we'll then do is add a type in snow and you'll find the snow texture that we're looking for now what you want to actually do is cr um, increase the snow amount so you know it starts coming over sort of the mountain tops that I have and then you want to decrease you know it's all dependent on what you want to do the snow um, start height so then we actually get something which takes up the whole area now what we want to do is mess around with a few of these um, actual objects themselves so what you want to do is you want to set you know roughly your terrain size um, X and Z and it doesn't really matter you can add the um, snow power textures to about 5 add the brightness 0 0.15 you can add the snow amount keep that maybe about 100 and keep the start height at about 2 and then keep your tiling at whatever you want maybe 10 sometimes if this um, snow texture doesn't appear you might need to just play your scene and then exit again now this is now we've got some sort of um, snow on our scene it looks you know it looks a little bit more festive a little bit more wintry now what we'll do is my water at the minute it moves and we don't really want it to move it's just a a unity pro asset now what I'm gonna do is actually change the color so it refracts a sort of dark color and then I'll actually change the the wave speed to zero 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 and zero so then the waves don't actually ever move and what we're gonna add is you can add a mesh collider component to the water so if you go component physics mesh collider and it'll just make it so that you can I'll simulate it here so we can run onto the water you know without any troubles so I'll quickly simulate here now you see we've got the snow on the terrain and then we'll jump down towards this and you'll see that the waves don't move and it almost um, refracts the light as if it looks icy and it's frozen so we can run along it now as you might have seen just before um, I did that it, there was a snow particle effect now I'll quickly show you how to make this now this is quite simple in comparison to this sort of another tutorial that I did you need to add a particle system if you go game object create other particle system then what you want to do if you don't already is um, you might want to right click import package and import the particles package and once you've done that if you click on the particle system what you want to do is make sure in the renderer you set your material if you type in snow you'll get the snowflake shader which is from that package then you can keep the max particle size to 0.5 keep everything the same there nothing crazy the shape can be from a sphere emitter about around about 10 the emission rate can be about 10 and now the only key points uh, here is that you want maybe the duration to be about 25 make it loop make it pre-warm because sometimes the particle doesn't work start lifetime around 10 start speed 2 
um, start size 0.5, start rotation 3, set the gravity multiplier to 0.1 so it uh, actually falls quite slowly, like snow would. Uh, you can maybe put inherit velocity as about 1 and then make sure it plays on a wake and you've got a you know decent amount of max particles around a thousand and then it sort of simulates some snow just falling down and of course you can just add that to your first person controller and obviously it will just follow your character around you know wherever you go and you know you can just mess around with some settings and see what you know you can get working and what you like now one other thing is where we're going to create so you could sort of slide across the ice and make it you know even more festive so what I've actually done is created a um, cube which goes all the way across my ice um, so just slightly below the actual terrain that I've got slightly above the ice it's a box collider just set it to his trigger and then we're going to quickly write a simple script so we can you know skate across the ice so we'll call this skate and we'll open up in mono develop and then what we can do from here is type in private variable can skate equals false another private variable called ch motor and set that equal to character motor then we'll write function start two curly brackets under there put that in and we'll say ch motor equals game object dot find open brackets quotes um, first person controller close that up dot get component then we'll open that up and say character motor close that up add a semicolon then we'll say function on trigger enter open the open the brackets call colon collider close that up add two curly brackets then we'll say if tag dot if sorry call dot tag is equal to player close that up then we'll say the can skate um, is equal to true and then what we'll do is under there we'll copy this it in under here change on trigger enter to on trigger exit and then say can skate is equal to false because if we're not in it we don't want to be able to skate anymore then we'll say function update or to the brackets put two curly brackets below and say that if can skate is equal to true then what we want to be able to do is add ch motor dot movement dot max forward speed equals 20 with a semicolon then ch motor dot movement dot max ground acceleration is equal to 5 and then what we can do is copy this same thing paste it in but instead of this top line we can just say else and then we'll say this ch motor max forward speed is equal to normal 6 and then the max ground acceleration is equal to 20 now what we'll do is save this out go back into unity what I'll do is go on the skate trigger and I will add my um, script and now if you follow this here you'll notice that my character motor is normally set to 6 and 20 now what we'll do is we'll go towards the ice and you know to jump on it and do what we want to do and then you'll notice that they both changed and it'll take you longer to run and also you sort of slide across the ice but of course this is just something that you need to you know practice yourself get something that you know you feel works for your game or for what you want to create so I'll come out of that so this has really just been a simple thing of applying the shade to the terrain creating a particle effect making some sort of ice with um, a simple script and that's pretty much it for what I was going to show you but that shows you how to make a sort of wintry scene and before you go 
Um, I've got something that everybody can download for free, sort of Christmas related assets um, in my scene here. So, you know, I've put a bunch of assets that people can download and, you know, use for whatever you want. Just sort of like a sleigh, some presents, um, Santa's hat, um, and a snowman. So, you know, we can, you can have a look around and make the scene look slightly more festive with what you want. So, you know, make sure you download those. Give me some comments, you know, tell me what you like. And thanks very much for watching. Cheers.